Hi guys, welcome back. So, um, I'm gonna stick to this lens because, you know, last time I filmed with it, I really like it, even though it's kind of big and I still feel like I'm looking through, you know, a fish lens. Um, I really like it. So, um, yes, I am wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt. And I hope you guys had, like, an amazing new year, and, you know, I hope you guys celebrated it. Or Mine was very relaxing. As I get, like, as I got older, I mean, I'm not even that old, I'm, like, 24. But, like, as I got older, like, I just, I don't even want to go out anymore. Like, I just, literally, I'm a homebody. I just want to go home and just cuddle with my dog and just kind of watch, you know, movies or play word cookies. And I'm pretty sure that's how my New Year's Eve was. And, honestly, no regrets. So, you know, now that 2017 has ended and 2018 has started, um, I just want to deviate from our usual Chanel program a little bit. And, you know, I want to start incorporating you guys into my life a little more and start introducing myself to you a little more. I'm sorry if I sound a little, like, you know, um, phlegmy at <laughs> some points. It's because I am, you know, still trying to battle bronchitis, which I caught, you know, in December from a coworker <laughs> of mine. So today is going to be kind of a different video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my 2017 favorites and it's not just going to be makeup favorites or, you know, skincare favorites. It's going to be kind of like my favorites overall in 2017 because I don't know about you guys, but for me 2017 I was living my best and my worst life at the same time. Like I was thriving, but at the same time I was sinking. So um, I went through a lot in 2017 and um, I went through a lot of changes, a lot of, you know, physical, personal, emotional, financial I just I went through a lot of changes and um some were good some were really bad but these were a lot of products that just stood out to me that you know yeah I mean they are my favorites because you know I love them but also because they hold some kind of sentimental value to me and um what you guys will just see as we go on so let's just get started so I just really want to start this video off with a bang um by starting off with my you know for real my most favorite like top of the list 2017 favorites and it is my um Chanel bag and it is so crazy because I always have her like in the background over there and so many of you guys took notice to it like I didn't even think it was noticeable because usually I have the background really blurry and it's focused on me but I was getting a lot of comments that were like oh my god I love your Chanel bag and I was like y'all can see it so I got her June of last year June of 2017 and I can do an entire video about this bag, but this bag means so much to me because I had been saving for over a year to get her because, I mean, she is, she's a very pricey piece. And um, I do have her in the jumbo uh, caviar leather in silver hardware. I was debating a lot between gold and silver because I knew that gold lasted, you know, the gold um, hardware was going to hold its value longer. But then I told myself, I'm like, uh, Andrea, you're not going to sell this bag. Why do you need it in gold? Like you wear more silver, you like silver more, get it in silver. And so... I ended up getting her in silver and I did choose the caviar over the lambskin because caviar just was more of a practical choice for me because of my lifestyle and I didn't want to, I wanted to be able to use her com comfortably um, without, you know, having to worry that if I breathe on her she would die. So lambskin is very, very, um, you know, it's a very delicate leather and I wanted to be able to use her without having to worry about, you know, like bumping into things because I know if just this one, like, I'm very careful with her, but I know there's been times where, like, I was a little rough where I put my keys in too hard, and I was like, oh, that could have totally been the end for my, um, lambskin if it had been true. For 2017, this is definitely a favorites bag for me because the day I got this bag, a lot of things happened, and it was just a very pivotal moment for me, and I just, this bag symbolizes so much for me because I was hunting for this bag for so long because, um, as you guys may or may not know, they don't make very many of them anymore. They definitely decrease the amount of um, uh, classic flaps that they make per year. I'm pretty sure it's just to, you know, uphold the exclusivity of it. But I finally, when I called, when I finally got enough money for it, um, and I called my go-to place, they're like, you know, we don't have her. And so I kept calling and calling and calling, and they finally, I finally got um, a hold of um, a boutique, and I got in South Coast, where they had, you know, they had her in stock. And the day where I called was the same day where I went down there and got it because I know these pieces move so fast. So I'm so glad that I finally got her. Um, I could do like an entire video story about her and a review and how much I like it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, you know, and just do a whole video about it if you guys want. But this is my favorite 
ultimate favorite of 2017. Um, everything that follows this isn't going to be in any particular order, but you know, this is my ultimate favorite of 2017, and I just really wanted to show her off to you guys because I love her so much, and um, I'm, don't take this the wrong way, I'm like, I'm not showing off, you know, what you know, I'm not trying to be pretentious or anything. These are just things that I genuinely love and just, I just, the things that I love just happen to be expensive. So, I mean, if I started off this video with a Chanel bag and you already don't like it, just go ahead and exit out because, um, the rest of this probably isn't going to get any better for you. Okay, so I wanted to continue this video with, like, another bag. Um, I got this one recently, which I know, um, two bags in one year for me is, kind of normal and that's a little irresponsible actually for me but um, I've been wanting her for a while because my boss actually does carry this this is her everyday um, bag it's actually a wallet on chain and um, I will be traveling later on this year and I wanted something that was going to be very convenient something very practical um, and I saw this and I was like it just made so much sense so it is a wallet on chain it is a YSL wallet on chain and it is a small one the only pet peeve I have the, about this is that I wish it was a little bigger because you guys can see I'm used to my bigger bags um, and yes, Tofu has her comb back on because she's being low budget again and she's starting to bite herself again. So I, I really, uh, I'm going to save her for another day because you know what? That ear infection went away, but I think it came back or whatever it is, but it's bothering her. And so she's becoming like a dog with trichotillomania. But anyway, um, so it is a wallet on chain and I have the chain tucked in, but it is a crossbody chain. And inside, you can, it has card slots that you can go ahead and um, insert your cards in. It does have room in there for like some keys and stuff and an external or internal pocket, I mean, an internal pocket that zips. So usually when I have this, I usually put like everything in the zipper would be like my um, insurance cards or anything I don't want to lose. And then in the card slots, I have like my ID, you know, credit cards and all that. And then um, I'll have like, you know, just a pack of gum in here or like, you know, a scrunchie. Um, just, you know, just little things here and there like this. I mean, I usually carry a water bottle with me, but obviously a water bottle will not fit in here, but I've definitely been enjoying her and I can't wait to travel with her because this is going to be so practical and I wanted something that I can like really hold close to my hip and to my body because um, where I'm going, I mean, I don't want to like make it sound like I'm going somewhere bad, but um, I just... It's, since it's a touristy place that I'm going to, I don't, you know, it's kind of notorious for theft and I want something that with a chain where um, it can't be cut and, you know, I just want to keep something really close to me onto my hip. It's just so practical and it's been something I had my eye on for a while so I just had to have it. So this has been a favorite just because I've never had something this small and this practical in my life. So I've definitely really been enjoying this. Another thing that I've really been enjoying is um, Creed White Flowers. If you guys don't know much about um, Creed, it is an amazing, 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 amazing um, fragrance brand. It has like an amazing history to it. It's been around since 1760, I believe. And um, White Flowers is one of its um, exclusives, or it's just one of their um, exclusive um fragrances and white flowers it's my favorite i think if there's like a couple of them there's like white amber white flowers and a few others but when i sniffed this one i just knew that it was going to be the fragrance love of my life basically um i always make this joke with my friends like you guys know in lord of the rings um this is how much of a nerd i'm gonna reveal to you guys that i am like in lord of the rings when they say one ring to rule them all this is like the perfume to rule them all to me like this is the equivalent to the ring in lord of the rings because this is the one fragrance to end it all for me like well as soon as i got my hands on this fragrance i was like i don't need any other fragrance like this is my forever love like this is well, first of all, this is the most expensive fragrance I've ever owned. This is $545 for, like, a tiny, tiny bottle. But, um, this is literally, ever since I got this fragrance, like, I don't need another fragrance. Kind of like when I got that Chanel bag, I was like, mm, this is, like, I'm not gonna need another bag for a while. And this, after this, like, I'm not gonna need, I don't think I'm gonna ever gonna need a perfume ever again. This is my favorite fragrance of all time because it is a perfect balance of flowers. It's so fresh. It's warm enough. Like... This is me in a bottle. Like, I love this bottle so much. I love the fragrance so much. I have used it, but I'm trying to be so frugal with it because at the end of the day, it is $545, and I swear each spray is, like, 20 bucks. Yes, yeah, so White Flowers has been my um, favorite 2017 fragrance, and this is probably going to be my favorite, favorite fragrance for life. 
Sorry if you guys hear anything, it's raining outside and I'm pretty sure like water's just coming down, like the drains and stuff. And I actually have only have a few minutes before I actually had to work, so let's see how this all pans out. So the next 2017 favorites is my um, Lancer um, face polish. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of Lancer, like I was just like, why is this brand so expensive? Like I don't get it. And then um, I, a customer of mine, when I was helping her, she was like, I really need the face polish. And I was like, yeah, I'll grab it for you. And she went on and on and on and on and on about how amazing the stuff is. And I was like, let me make myself a sample. I'll go home. I'll try it. And so I went home. I tried the sample and I was like, I have to have another sample. <laughs> so I was legit like making like, I made myself like four samples to hold me over until I can finally get a hold of this because I was like literally like, Mm, this thing is really expensive like this thing was 75 bucks I believe and I was like uh, but it is so good like this is my favorite exfoliant like I mean I usually use just like some sugar <laughs> or like some salt salt actually has all the same shape so it's actually not gonna rip open your pores but this oh my god it is amazing like this is my favorite I use this probably once every other day or every two days or on a day where I'm wearing like more makeup than usual. I will go in with this and just my skin has never felt better. I definitely recommend this for everybody. There is one for acne. This one's for uh, normal to combination skin. There is one for acne to sensitive skin if you guys want to try this one, but this one is amazing. I definitely feel like everybody needs this in their lives because literally after you use it, your face is kind of like a baby's ass and you guys definitely need this in your lives. Just saying. Okay, and now I have some body stuff that I want to talk about. The first one is the Jo Malone um, bath oil. Um, this one happens to be in Blackberry and Bay. I do have another one in Nectarine and Honey Blossom because as you guys may or may not know, those are my two favorite um, scents from Jo Malone. And um, this is a bath oil, so you can use this like, you know, you pour it in your bath, use it as an oil, it's gonna be amazing. But what I do is actually after the shower, I'll pour a little bit and I actually use it as a moisturizer. Um, like while my body is still damp, I'll kind of like rub it on myself until like it's like a milky consistency. And then I just kind of step out like air out a little bit and it just stays on my skin and it's my skin feels so supple it's ridiculous um it is kind of pricey for an oil so I kind of use that as frugally as possible like I will use this maybe like mm, twice a week um because you know I'm I try to make this bottle last me a year <laughs> um but now that I have two bottles I guess you know I can be a little less frugal about it but this product is amazing and that's why I only buy it like you know once a year um because it lasts so long, but also, you know, I just really love it. It leaves your skin feeling amazing. Okay, another oil product, another body oil product is the um, Chanel Sheer Moisture Mist. So, I mean, I'm not a fan. I mean, you guys, like I have mentioned to you guys before, my favorite fragrance from Chanel is Gabrielle, but since, since she's new, she doesn't have any, you know, accessory product with her yet. Chance has been around for a while. And when this came to our store, the Sheer Moisture Mist, I was like, hmm... And it does happen to be in Oton. And I mean, out of all the chances, it's my favorite chance fragrance, which is, it's the Oton. So, it's a sheer moisture mist, and I've always been intrigued by um, the Mademoiselle one. Mademoiselle has like a velvet body oil where you just kind of spritz it on your skin. It's a dry oil, so it absorbs in like really fast. This one is the same concept, except it comes in, um, it's the Chanel Chance one. And when I used it, I was floored because... I mean, I love the Jo Malone one, but the only thing about it is that you have to rub it into your skin and you kind of have to air it out a little bit. This one, it comes with a spray. And let me show you guys how, like, fine this mist is. Isn't that amazing? And it's an, it's such an amazing mist. Um, it's a fine mist and very little goes a long way. So after this, I will literally spritz it all over my body. And the, abs and the oil absorbs right in. So this is indeed a dry oil and it comes in the fragrance. I think this, this isn't the only fragrance it comes in. I'm pretty sure there are more of them. This one just happens to be the one that I have because it's my favorite one out of all of them. But I definitely recommend it because like I love moisturizing after the shower because I'm all about having soft skin. But, um, you know... And that's why I love the oil, the Jo Malone oil, but the only downside is that I have to rub it in. This comes in a vaporizer bottle, so this can be sprayed on, and that is my favorite aspect about it, because I could just spray it on, air dry, and then just put my clothes on. So I would definitely recommend this one. This one does, I mean, it is a lower price point than the Jo Malone one, but I think the ounce is just smaller too, so you kind of have to pick and choose your battle. But, um... This one is definitely a favorite of mine for 2017. Okay, so another favorite of mine is the Tom Ford Eyeshadow Blending Brush. Now, as you guys can see, it is dirty because I did use it today, because I did use it because my friend Marissa got it for me and she knows how much I've been wanting it. And honestly, this is my favorite blending brush in the world and um, I'm gonna need like 17 more of these. 
The, my second favorite is the MAC 217 brush, but that was because, you know, I love it. I mean, I love it for my crease, I love it for blending, but this one is amazing because it is so soft. Like, I've never felt some, any, I've never felt anything so soft against my eyes before, and this blends out like a dream. So, yes, it is an expensive product. Yes, it is an expensive brush. However, uh, I feel like it was definitely, like, you know, I didn't get this one for myself. It was a gift, but... I will be getting more for myself because I do love it that much and it has become a staple in my makeup routine when it comes to eyeshadow. So this one blends out like a dream and it does fit all eye shapes because of the way it is shaped. It is kind of like domed. When it fluffs up, it's going to be amazing. Um, and it's not too stiff. It's just the perfect brush and I definitely recommend this. Okay, another favorite of mine for the year. It's more of a concept and a product. I mentioned before to you guys that I don't use foundation anymore. Um, today I'm still not using foundation and it's because I realized that less is more, so I went through a phase where I did a full beat. Like, I did foundation, I did concealer, I did highlight, like, I did cream highlight, I did cream bronzer, and I buffed that out, and then I went over with, you know, bronze, like, powder bronzer and powder highlight, and it was just too much. So, I went totally minimalistic. I don't even wear foundation anymore. When I do wear foundation, it's kind of like a special occasion, like, even on camera, um, like on camera I used to be like oh, I gotta put on foundation and one day I, I remember that day I was just like you know what just do your usual beat just put on some concealer and some powder and just run with it and I did and I've I haven't turned back ever since then on camera um like I don't wear foundation really anymore um I because I really don't need it um I realized that like the more you know the better my skin is the better my skincare routine is the better you know the foundation of my skin is the less makeup I have to wear. So I only wear concealer and I only wear powder and then I finish off with UC blush, bronzer, everything else, but I don't wear foundation. Um, I only go in with concealer. And this year the only concealer I've been wearing is the Chanel concealer, which I have been loving. Um, before I was using the NARS one and I was like, okay, like, you know, let me just give the Chanel one a try. And ever since then I have not turned back because this one is more moisturizing, it's more glowy, it's more natural. Um, the NARS one is a little more drying. This one just gives me that like healthy under eye glow that I need and I literally just put it under my eyes, between my eyebrows, my nose, my chin. That's it. I don't have anything here. Everything that's all powder. So yeah, I just, ha I, this, so the Chanel concealer has definitely been my favorite. I love the old formula and when they reformulated, I still loved it. Like it was so moisturizing. It's ridiculous. It's so natural and it definitely follows like the French glowy look, which I love. So Chanel concealer definitely my favorite and it's gonna be like my everlasting favorite it's gonna be my lifetime love because I have a bunch of concealers in there that I just have not touched haven't touched the Tarte one haven't touched my NARS one haven't touched my clay de Pomme one I've just been really reaching for this one because it's so easy to use and I love the finish of this one the most to be honest and then I have a favorite that might surprise you guys and it is actually the um, my favorite bronzer of the year which is the Smashbox contour palette and it is this one um, you guys are gonna see it's been used and abused because I use this one pretty much every day so it's the trio and I think I got this one this one, I think it comes in two different shades but this one might be the lighter one um, so what I do is I usually mix these two and I go in you you know as my bronzer because I like my bronzer low-key to be kind of bruisey like I like it kind of gray in a way and which is kind of weird but you know whatever so this one's kind of like a cool tone and this one's a little warm I mix these two and I use it as my everyday bronzer and this and it's been my favorite tone of bronzer to use every single day surprisingly that I believe this one's my cheapest bronzer so I love this one and I will and I will definitely be repurchasing it once I hit pan but it's been my favorite bronzer and it's it's surprising because I'm really not a big Smashbox fan, but this bronzer, I've been grabbing it every single day. Okay, and then another favorites that might surprise you, it's a pen. Now, another, so something that you guys don't know about me is that I'm a very pen and paper person. Like, I love writing things because it makes me remember more, like, it, it just helps me remember things a little better. But personally, like, I love writing and I love paper, like, I love stationery. I mean, for my birthday, my brother got me a quill. Like, that's how much I love the art of writing um so and i'm very picky about my pens so this year i discovered a pen that i just cannot live without i love this pen so much and it is um i got it at a, at a store like literally across from nordstrom like where i work and it is called um i got it from a store called mito but i'm pretty sure you guys can find it online i believe it is called um i believe the brand is jetstream it's by mitsubishi and the um 
like the point it's a 0.38 i don't know if you guys know like you know how how lead um lead pencils have grades like 0 0.7 0 0.5 um so do pens so i usually write with a 0.5 but if i can get a hold of a 0.38 i will use a 0.38 and this one is a 0 0.38 and this one i believe um it's a uni and it looks like this. When you look at it, there's nothing special about it, but like it's a ballpoint pen. It's a very, very fine tip. I love the points of my pens to be very fine tip, which you guys probably look at me like, is she really talking about a pen right now? Yeah, I'm really talking about a pen because pens are so important to me. Like I'm very picky about my pens. So this pen is really amazing and I use it, like honestly, I treasure this like so much and I have so many of these, but like I will not let one go. Like if someone needs to borrow a pen, like this will not be the pen that I let, you, let anyone borrow. Okay, and then two more things that, you know, have been my favorite of the year um one of the last favorites is my weight loss which um you guys may or may not know or some of you notice some of you haven't some of you guys have commented and called me out on them and like hey you're losing weight um i have been losing weight i've lost actually 20 pounds which um it's because you know i've throughout my life i've fluctuated in weight a lot but i've you know I've struggled with it a lot because like, you know, I went from working out to not really working out and then like my mood and just my year and just how busy my lifestyle is, it's kind of hard to squeeze a good workout in and to eat right and honestly like working at Nordstrom, like you never have like a set like time to eat. So it's been kind of hard so and I, you know, I didn't gain weight at Nordstrom, I gained weight prior to that but working at Nordstrom definitely didn't help me lose the weight but this year I just really I was so tired of looking the way that I did um, because I, I remember how I used to look and it wasn't like that so I did lose some weight and I am looking forward to losing more so I mean and you know in a way by telling you guys this I'm kind of hoping that like you guys will kind of help me you know hold me accountable to my weight loss I'm a very confident person so like you know I really like no matter how I look, like, I will carry myself like I'm the shit. So it really doesn't matter, but, like, it comes down to how happy I am with myself when I look into the mirror. And, like, you know, and I remember what I used to look like, and I just want to go back to being in my original packaging, if that makes sense. So, um, there's that. And then my final, final favorites, which might surprise you guys, because I haven't shown it on camera, I haven't even talked about it. Um, my final, um... 2017 favorites that's an actual object is um painting um i have always wanted like a chanel canvas to decorate my room but i haven't really gotten ever you know it was just so expensive i was just like there these pieces are beautiful and i would love to have them in my room but they're so expensive and so i was like you know what um why don't I, you know, try hand at it and so i tried and i painted myself i painted myself a couple pieces and Ever since then, I've just been so in love with painting because it's actually very cathartic. It's a way for me to just kind of like let everything go at the end of the day and just kind of focus on the task at hand, which is painting. Like I said, it's a very cathartic. Um, and I did took um, I did take art class for like two years in high school, so I remember the basics. I remember like the basic forms and you know what to do, the basic techniques, and you know it just kind of brought back my artistic side, which I really really enjoy. And I'm actually gonna move the camera so you guys can see what it looks like. And then um, my final favorites of the year, which um, it's going to surprise you guys. These aren't objects. These are people. So I have, there are a lot of people that I met this year that definitely changed my life. Or not this year, last year, 2017. That definitely changed my life. But like there are um, two people in particular that I just really, really wanted to give a shout out to because um, they have definitely been with me through my lowest of times and just really helped me um, pick myself back up because it's been a really rough year for me um, and I just wish that I had these two people in my lives like earlier um, and these two people are Daisy and Marissa so my two friends Daisy and Marissa Daisy um, you guys have seen on my channel before she um, I can't even words cannot describe her because she is the most giving person she's the most generous like if you need someone to believe in you she will be your number one hype man like she has never given up on me like since she met me she has always ensured that i'm going to be okay no matter what i do and that she and i was at a like kind of like at a crossroads earlier this year and she just she's like listen you just really need to think of yourself and yeah it's scary to let go but you just really need to make this jump and so i did and she's actually encouraged me to make so many jumps in my life so far and every jump that I've had to do like she was literally there I might cry <laughs> but she's been there holding my hand and she's just such a good friend like I wish 
I like she's had a rough year herself but like she has always been there for me whether it was because I was having like a mental breakdown or I was feeling unsure of myself whatever it was she's always been there for me and I really just from the bottom of my heart just really appreciate her and I am never just I'm like it's she's just one of those bitches that like she knows too much of my secrets for me to ever let her go so I'm like uh -uh, bitch you ain't going for you you are not leaving my life girl and Marissa just she I wish she was a friend that I had early on because she um, she's a little older than me but so she's been through a lot more than me and she's just had a lot of experience she has that common sense and that she's my voice of reason I just wish that I had her early on because like you know she's just been really her and her boyfriend have just I admire them so much because they have such a great relationship with each other and they're really solid and I just really admire that like that about them I can't emphasize this more that I really wish I had her in my life earlier on because she has just been this amazing entity that I can always rely on and I sound very selfish because I'm talking about how they benefit me but like I'm just I'm being so real like because yeah like you know she has just brought out the best in me and she has been my voice of reason and just been like just she's been that adult voice of reason without sounding a little too overbearing if that makes any sense because a lot of things that I went through last year were personal and they've just been there for me but it's just you know they have just they have shown me that love is unconditional and it is so crazy because both of them I've you know Daisy I've known most of my life but Marissa I met recently they've just become such important pillars in my life that it's just been so crazy Daisy and Marissa are my two human favorites of the year and they are going to continue to be human favorites of my life so um, you guys are going to see Marissa on camera very soon and you guys are going to see Daisy on camera very soon because I'm sure you guys miss her humor yeah that kind of pretty much rounds up my uh, favorites of the year so I mean I'm looking at my clock and I'm totally late for work but you know what it is what it is. Yeah, like I literally have 10 minutes to get to work and that's totally not gonna happen. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, if you guys really wanna see like a video dedicated towards my Chanel handbag, like, you know, just let me know and I'll do it. Your wish is my command as always. I hope you guys had an amazing new year. Um, you know, I hope you guys had some amazing new year's resolutions. I hope you guys are just, you know, um, manifesting whatever you guys want and just making it happen. So, and I thank you so much for supporting me, um, you know, any questions, comments, make sure to comment down below. If you guys really want to talk to me, call me at my counter and we'll make it happen. You can always talk to me at my counter. And I'm going to shamelessly plug myself in here again. If you guys need, ever need any help with Chanel or any shopping, like even if you don't live in California, even if you live like, you know, out of state, feel free to call the counter and just, if you guys want to talk to me, like talk to me and I'll give you guys a consultation over the phone. And because I have had so many of you guys reach out to me over the phone and Oh my gosh, like I'm so thankful for it. Like you guys are so amazing and every time I talk to you guys on the phone, like it literally just brightens up my day. Like I could be having the crappiest day at work and if I, and, and if I get a phone call from one of you guys, oh my god, it changes like so fast. Like everybody can always tell and everybody's like, oh my god, like that is so amazing. Like that people are calling you from like all over the country. I'm like, yeah, it really is. And like you guys have no idea. Like it is so crazy. So I mean, I would love to talk to more of you guys. Like just feel free to call the phone number that I'm going to list down below. Um, I would love to talk to you guys and just, you know, get to know you guys and, you know, consult you guys on Chanel or whatever you guys want to talk about, you know talk on the phone with me so if you guys want to talk to me call you know call the number down below um comment down below slide into my dms whatever it is give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it even if you didn't enjoy it give this video a thumbs up anyway um comment down below if you guys want to see a chanel handbag video i hope you guys found this video helpful subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys again next time bye